I'm here with Ramona Shelburne and Matt Barnes. Just Hello. before we crown a first-time WNBA champ tonight, let's revisit their tinkered playoff format for this postseason. The highlights of the format changes include seeding teams regardless of conference, giving the top two seeds a buy in the first round and reseeding the teams after each round. Ramona, do you think the NBA can learn from this playoff format? No, I'm a traditionalist. I really like what the WNBA has done. I think we've seen the two best teams in the in the finals mm -hmm. the last few years. Whether it was the Sparks and the Lynx, now it's the now it's Washington and and Connecticut. I like that it fits better with the WNBA because they have such a short season and you have such a short playoffs. I don't love their like one game playoff, mm. game, one, like it's like the NCAA tournament or something. Yeah. But I do. I, I'm a traditionalist. I like Eastern Conference, Western Conference. I think that stuff evens out over time. Like right now we're in a stage where it's hard to make it out of the West, but give it five years, it'll change back. Uh, I like. I think it works for them. I think it works for the WNBA, like she said, for all the reasons she said. Uh, the, the shortened season, you just get to mix it up a little bit more. But the one thing I would like to see is because of another thing you just said as well, the West is always traditionally so strong. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the top 16 teams in the NBA go in the playoffs. The, the, regardless, and I know the travel, people worry about the travel, and the, we can work that out. But to me, I want to see the best 16 teams mm. in the playoffs. And, and, and Norm, like you said, the four teams we named in the last segment would probably make the playoffs in the, if East, they were in the East. You know what I mean? So I would like to see the best 16 teams. That's the only thing I'd like to see change. The problem with that is they got to vote. And every owner of an Eastern oh, Conference team is like, I'm not voting for that. I like I like this. I like being able to, you know, if you're the Nets, I like the idea that yeah. my best player is out for the year and my second best player may or may not start the year with a, a facial fracture, and we still have a pretty good chance of making the playoffs because it's not like the West where you have that hyper-competitive uh, you know, race from day one. You, don't, wow. you, you, can't, you can't give up any time. I'll tell you one thing I want to see. Uh, they did this in the G League a few years ago where the top seeds get to pick who they play. The huh. one seed picks out of all the, oh, really? the lower seeded Ooh, teams. I don't know. Out of five, six, seven, eight, you pick who you want to play, and then the two picks whoever's left, and then the three, and then obviously four, picks whoever's last. I like that. I like that. I think it would bring, add some juice to it, and yeah. it still keeps your conferences. It still keeps that, you know, it's something I think we can all get behind. By the way, no, you know, I know you're playing her right now. <laughs> Elena Deladon play with a herniated oh, disc man, in her crazy. back. That's it's like Larry Bird. I feel, out there, I feel your pain. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.